What's going on, people? I want to do something a little different today. Um, I want to comment on the paternity court's video. There's a video that's on the paternity court. Now, I like that show, okay? I like watching paternity court because in this day and time, it exposes a lot of women and it exposes a lot of guys on there too. And I came up in a time where we didn't have the internet. We didn't have shows like the paternity court. So um, there's a lot of men that were trapped into raising uh, another man's baby, okay? Um, he would believe what the woman say because he had unprotected sex with the woman. The woman got pregnant and then she came and told him um, that he was the father and he did what men are supposed to do and he owned up to it. Well, there's times that whenever they had a disagreement or when the child grew up or the female just got tired of the man and they got into an argument, then the truth came out. You're not the father, right? And I recall, and I shared this story before of this man that went through the same thing. He took on the responsibility of a child that he thought was his. His wife told him that she was pregnant. He helped raise a child. Every time they got into an argument, she would throw up and that's not your child. Well, one day he decided to like, well, wait a minute. Why is it that every time we have a disagreement, you're always telling me that that's not my child? So what he decided to do was get a paternity test behind her back. The results came back that he was not the father. After 15 years of raising this child, of bonding with this child, a child that he thought was his own, he later in life found out that the child was not his. And the female, his wife, took no accountability at all for, the, for her cheating on him. And we're living in a time now with, where well, for women or females um, pick and choose who they want to be their child's father. And the system unfortunately backs them. And I think a lot of times it's because men don't fight for their rights like they should. There are no laws out there to protect the rights of men. So when these females fraudulently tell you that you are the father of her child, now, of course, you can have a paternity test in the beginning. And I suggest every man, every man that a woman, whenever a woman tells you that she's pregnant by you, I strongly recommend that you have a paternity test. Now, a lot of females may cry. They may play that victim mentality and you don't trust me and how could you do that? I've never cheated on you. I've always been faithful to you. And then a lot of guys would back down, be like Eddie Murphy say, okay, I'm sorry. I don't think you would cheat on me. And then end up raising another man's child. So I strongly suggest that men go and get tested, get there, make sure that that child is yours. Before you sign that birth certificate, make sure that that's your baby. Because you have guys, man, on paternity, on paternity court that after finding out that the child is not his, I'm still going to be there. Well, by that time, the man had bonded with the child. Okay, so it's harder for him to just walk away or walk out of this child's life when he's been um, supporting this child since the child came into the world. But the real father, the deadbeat, gets a free pass. And every single time these females, or most of the time when these females are asked the question over and over again, do you know who the father is? No. 
He's the only one. He's the only one I've been with. And then on paternity court, they take it and they always twist it back to the man to shame him. And that's where this one comment comes in where it says, judge, you haven't been acting like much of a father. She was shaming him. And then when the results came back, you are not the father, no apology, no accountability, no nothing. And Judge Lake, she's got a habit of doing that. She would shame the man. The guy could be sitting there, the woman cheated on him, admit that she's cheated on him, and Judge Lake would still take her side. Would act like she understands, she sympathized with her. But if it was the man that cheated, she would dog him out. She would shame him to a T, make him feel bad. And then when it comes back that it's not his child, then a real man will step up to the plate and take care of another man's baby. If you're a real man, and then the females in the audience applaud for this dude, making him feel good about being a sucker. Right? So I find that interesting. But anyway, I decided to make this video because I responded to a comment that a woman made to me. And of course, it wasn't disrespectful because I'm not a disrespectful person, unless, of course, you're disrespectful to me. I'll ignore you first. And then if you keep pushing me, I can be quite disrespectful. Right? But I wasn't disrespectful. Disrespectful. And of course, the person that's managing the account for paternity court deleted my comment. So I made another comment and told her that I'm going to have to make a video because I'm being censored on paternity court. Well, they also deleted that comment. So I decided to make this video, right? So you see my comment, it says, so he's the only one at fault and not the sister sleeping with her husband. Right now, you see that the title of the show is her sister's husband is her daughter's father. So this woman's sister was sleeping with her husband, okay? The man's wife, the wife's sister, was sleeping with the man, with, with the husband of her sister. And her sister got pregnant. Come to find out, well, actually come to find out, it was her husband, wait, how, I'm getting confused on this. The sister, The sister's husband is her daughter's father, right? So this woman sleeps with her sister's husband and she got pregnant. It's her sister's husband's baby. But yet Judge Lake made it seem like the father was the bad guy. Now. Two wrongs don't make a right. They both was wrong. But the woman was the one that was in paternity court because she was pregnant by her sister's husband. But then it come to find out that he wasn't the father. Okay? Make sense now? He wasn't the father of his wife's sister, baby. All right. right. So, but judge was shaming him. But when I made the comment, so he was the only one at fault and not the sister sleeping with her husband. This one female responded and says, you're also judgmental in your attitude. But often these cases happen through thoughtlessness. And then she says, you reason it out in your mind. His wife may have not been interested in him at all. 
And that leads to temptation for all sorts of reason. Now, if that was a man, if it was opposite, the same female, especially in the so-called black community, would call this man a deadbeat. They would call him all kind of names. They would shame him. Judge would shame him, make him feel completely bad, right? About going out there, getting another female pregnant, on his wife they would shame him to a t but now you have this female making a comment saying that his wife may have not been interested in him at all now like a lot of y'all females say to men if that's the case if you if she's not interested in him no more that's when she should divorce him Divorce that man. If you don't want to be married to him, and unfortunately, today's in today's time, you have females that's marrying for the wrong reasons. In most cases, these females are not marrying for love. They're marrying for financial reasons. And I shared a story before where what um one of my customers had come in my store. Her husband worked at Chrysler. Dude was there for years, made a whole lot of money. She didn't have to work. All she had to do was take care of the home and the children, right? When he got injured on the job and he was not able to work, she cheated on him. She didn't divorce him, but she cheated on him. And I asked her, why would you do that? You know, and she told me that she was high maintenance. She said that she was expensive. And I said, I don't understand you women because you say that you're looking for a man that does X, Y, and Z. And then when you meet that man, and now that the man is disabled and not able to work, he's still got disability coming in, but it's not enough for her because she's high maintenance. So she cheated on him and left him in his disabled state. She used this man till she could not use him anymore and she moves on to the next guy. See, that's why the Bible says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. And unfortunately to this day, in these days and times, a lot of men don't really have the right discernment, man, to find a good thing, to find a good wife. And they allow the woman to control him to manipulate him, and even to run the house. Men do not stand up as men like at one point in time when I was growing up in my era, coming up in the 60s and 70s, we didn't find a lot of stuff going on now that's happening, right? But now women, especially in the black community, is out of control, right? They're completely out of control. And they're more masculine and more manly than a lot of the men that they're with. And they, they may have a woman in this one case I heard just recently of the situation where this female was seeing a woman on the side. She's married, got a husband, but she was cheating on her husband with another woman. And he had no idea because he thought they were just girls. I'm hanging out with the girls. But she had someone else on the side and he was like, I didn't know you were a lesbian. And she's talking about, I, I wasn't. I used to be a lesbian, but she was cheating on him with a female, right? So men, you have to be careful who you get involved with, man. And myself personally, I would never sleep with a woman that's been with a woman or even had a desire or curiosity to be with a woman. I wouldn't because somewhere down the line, it's going to create some problems. It's going to create problems somewhere down the line, right? Because what she really feels inside will one day come out in the open. What's done in the dark will come to the light, right? So fellas, you have to really be careful and People don't talk no more, man. When you meet a young lady, these women and men don't talk anymore, man. They straight to the bedroom. 
Then they bring a child in the world and then the relationship don't even last. They end up despising each other, right? And you got a child now left and she's talking about she's a single parent mom and now he's a deadbeat, don't want to take care of it because he don't want to deal with her. Instead of taking the time out to converse with that person, get to know that person before you decide to, number one, start making babies or be, before you decide to walk down the aisle, right? So he that finds a wife finds a good thing and there are not too many wives left in this world because everybody wants to be a feminist. Everybody wants to be an independent woman and you can't be independent in a marriage. So I just feel it's, 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 it's unfortunate, right? But her response is like a lot of females nowadays, they do not take responsibility for their actions. And when it comes to men, they expect men to just be so forgiving. Oh, she made a mistake back in the day. You know, she could have been just not interested in him. Well, again, like a lot of females tell men, she should have just got out of the marriage. Leave him alone. If you fall out of love, and in many cases, they're not even in love, never been in love, it was all about the money. And men should know that before they decide to lay down and make babies or before they decide to walk down the aisle, right? And women, they made, they put in songs a long time ago. You got to have a J-O-B to be with me. You know, there's nothing going on but the rent. You need a J-O-B if you want to be with me. It's about money, right? It's about finances. So fellas, as long as you are marrying and getting with females, you see a big butt and a smile and they see what they think you have in your pockets or your bank account. And then you bring these kids into the world and then the relationship don't even last. So that's what I got to say, but it's unfortunate that paternity court man is, is biased and females don't take accountability. And then when it comes back that, that the man is not the father, there's no apologize. There's, there's no apology. They don't apologize or anything. Every now and then you may see one that may apologize, but not too often. So fellas, just be, just be careful who you lay down with. There's an old saying, you lay down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.